All right, and we're back. It's Mr. Hain, and I am here with you with Chapter 7 for Transformations and Similarity. All right, so our essential question, how can I identify similar shapes and the transformations used to make them? All right, so the key here is that we already know what similar shapes are. They are uh, they have the same ratio, or they have been dilated or changed size um, by a scale factor. And then uh, the transformations are something from uh, a previous unit. Have they been rotated? Have they been translated or moved along or slid in the, the coordinate plane? Or have they been um, reflected somehow? And so we're going to kind of put all of those things together. All right, let's take a look. So similarity. So two figures are similar if the second can be obtained by the first by sequence of transformations and dilations. Excuse me. So for example, A. first we want to check to see if these two triangles are similar by transformation. So okay, we're going to check to see if the orientations is the same. So if so that just means this triangle is a right triangle with a right angle in the lower left uh, hand corner. And we see uh, triangle GHI is a right triangle with a right angle in the lower left hand corner. So because the, the triangles are facing the same direction, if you want to say, like both of them have the straight side on the left and the, and the other straight side and the, on the, at the bottom, and the slanted side is on the upper right, then we know that that is a translation. So it's been slid across. Um, but we don't know if they are uh, similar yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the ratios of the links. We're going to cross multiply. We've been doing this. So I'm going to check ED and DF, and then I'm going to check the corresponding sides, GI and HG. All right, cool. So here we go. I set it up, and I know that I just count the boxes. So it's um, 3 over 4. And it's 6 over 8, and this here should be FD and not ED, but you guys get the idea. So this top number here is the length of DF, and this bottom number here, uh, or this, this top number in the second one, the numerator, is the, the bottom length of GI. And then here I have ED, and here I have HG. Excellent. Okay. That means if I cross multiply, I see that I, I get 24. The ratios are the same. I can find the scale factor. It got bigger, so I just divide um, with a bigger number first. So I have a scale factor of 2, and they are similar. Awesome. So there's a ton of things here um, to unpack, and um, let's just dive into another example immediately. Let's take a look at B. All right, so here we see that the first triangle is long, uh, length, long wise um, from left to right, and the second triangle, the green triangle, is long ways uh, uh, down to up or up to down. So that means it had to have been rotated. And we know that they're the same, they're different sizes, so we have to see if they've been dilated by a scale factor. Um, so if we're going to check the length ratios. So TW over TU, so the long side over the short side, YX, which is the long side over the short side, YZ. Okay, so we count the boxes, and it's 5 thirds equals 7 fourths. So I'm going to multiply, and these are not the same numbers. One, uh, 4 times 5 gives me 20, and 3 times 7 gives me 21. I don't have to do anything else because I know that the ratios don't match. And that, of course, means that they are not similar. Awesome. Okay, so uh, they are not similar because the ratios don't match. Let's take a look at uh, C and D. Okay, so at this point, if I were you, what I would do is I would pause the video and see if I could set up the, the ratios for the corresponding sides. And let's use the easiest sides possible. And so the slanted sides are really hard to count uh, how many, how long they are. So I'm just going to use the straight sides. So can you set up those ratios and see if C is indeed similar? So first got to check to see if they're similar. Let's set up those ratios. Go ahead and pause the video, see if you could set up and check to see the ratios to see if they are similar triangles. I'll be here when you come back. And we're back. All right, so that means um, to check the ratios, I'm going to use ST over UT and then PQ over QR. And of course, those are the corresponding sides of those two triangles. I'm going to check to see. I count the links and I multiply. And yes, that is, they give me the same uh, number. That means they are equal. That does mean that the ratio is the same. The shapes are reflected because uh, this point, the U here points to the left and the corresponding angle R points to the right. So it had to be reflected and of course the size changed. 
So for C, triangle SUT and triangle PRQ uh, was reflected and then made larger. So they are similar. And we can, again, we can check the, um, the ratio that was used to, f to find them or the scale factor. Um, it got bigger, so I divide the bigger number first. So 10 divided by 5, and that scale factor is 2. All right, cool. Um, go ahead and pause the video and use the same thing. Check to see if the length ratios are the same for D. I would use AB and AD and the corresponding sides for the smaller green uh, quadrilateral. Go ahead and pause the video. I'll be here when you get back. And we're back. So let's just take a link, uh, check uh, the length ratios. And of course, I have AB and AD and EF and EH. Um, I count those up and I multiply and numbers are not the same. So this was not similar and the ratios don't match. So it doesn't matter um, how they were, they were transformed to get from one to the other. All right. Um, not similar. So let's take a look. E and F, I'm not going to show the work on the screen. Don't try to look for it. Don't try to rewind the video. It's just not going to be there. Um, so go ahead and pause and do E and F on your own. Um, you might want to, after you're done, check with two other people next to you to see if they got the same work, if they are also done. So go ahead and pause the video. This is going to be a lengthy pause as you work out the ratios to check and if they are similar. All right. Hope you're still working. All right, here we go. So um, we're going to check these length ratios, and they are not the same, so it's not even similar for E. Now, you should have all the work on your notes or on your paper, and if you're practicing along at home and not in my classes, um, you can definitely show the work as well. I'm not going to put it in the video. Let's check F as well. Same methods. Um, we're going to check those length ratios. Um, and they are the same. Those length ratios are the same. So let's take a moment and talk about how um, triangle DEF was uh, transformed to triangle ABC. So since they're not pointing in the same direction, I know they had to be reflected. So reflected is the first one. Um, and it changed size. So it definitely had to be uh, dilated. So it was dilated and reflected for F. Sweet. Go ahead and write your summaries, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, make sure your table of contents has been updated. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, until next time, guys, keep doing the math.